Welcome back to the Architectural Orthographic Instructionals. In this video, we will cover the construction of the reflected ceiling plan. Ceiling plans are almost as important as floor plans. If we look up at any ceiling in any serviced institutional or commercial building, we will see a degree of complexity that we are normally unaware of, but is critical in the work of an architect to ensure services and the work of subconsultants is well coordinated. In this instance, most of the measured timber buildings had an exposed timber structure and no ceiling. The drawing of the reflected ceiling plan in these instances will give us a very good understanding of how the roof was framed up. A reflected ceiling plan is an unusual projection in that we are trying to view the ceiling plan without rotating or flipping the building. For a reflected ceiling plan, we start with our floor plan and then project the ceiling detail down onto that plan. It is like that the floor is a giant mirror. It is difficult to understand in the abstract what a reflected ceiling plan is and how the projection works, but it is easier if we just follow the process of constructing the reflected ceiling plan through tracing and projecting between our already established orthographic views. To start the reflected ceiling plan, we tape down our floor plan and align the sections relative to the floor plan. We then tape a fresh sheet of tracing paper over the plan and start tracing. In the same way we constructed the front elevation and steps due to its complexity, the reflected ceiling plan should also be done step by step, working from the elements that are closest to the view plane and backwards from that. Here we have traced the main column structure and the projections of the main outside elements of the roof as well as the ceiling beams. We should clean up this geometry first before adding or projecting more geometry onto the drawing. We are now adding the detail of the extra shading elements along the pergola edge and including the roof battens. These are trimmed up and cleaned up making sure that the order of elements are true to the orthographic projection. Finally, we have added the profile of the roof sheeting. We have done this with a thinner lighter line to allow the main roof structure to stand out. At this point in the process, we will have constructed the primary and secondary elements of the main structure as shown in the plan, reflected ceiling plan, roof plan, as well as two sections, a side elevation and two long elevations. We need to fill in the detail and set out and coordinate the drawings which is subject to subsequent instructionals.